on the edges of our nearby planetary group, there exists a little divine body, ensnared by a harmful cover. Settled in the midst of the tremendous span of space, a giant shadow looms over its tough skyline, covering the stars from view. As the faint sun comfortably crosses the sky, its weak beams battle to dissipate the semi-haziness that covers the frozen plain, loaded with endless clefts. Welcome to Pluto, a forlorn domain of rocks and ice covered in unending shadow. We should delve deeper into the secrets of this far-off world. Pluto, arranged roughly 40 astronomical units from the sun, appears as a dark and indistinguishable object. This distant body follows an extended orbit around the planetary system's center, completing its journey every 248 Earth years. Despite having a diameter of just 1,188 kilometers, smaller than not just the planets but even several satellites like the Moon, precise observations of Pluto's proper motion allow us to determine its mass at a mere 1.3 times 10 to the power of 22 kg, or 1 118th of the lunar mass. Pluto shares more similarities with smaller celestial bodies like Ceres or Sedna, earning it the designation of a dwarf planet in 2006. Because of its lengthy orbit, Pluto boasts an extended orbital cycle. It only moved toward its perihelion, coming as close as 29.7 astronomical units to the Sun, in 1989. Over two centuries after its discovery, the distance has steadily increased and is projected to reach its maximum value in 2113 when Pluto will be near its aphelion at 49.3 astronomical units from the solar system center. Therefore, Pluto stands as a distant and faint space object, invisible to the naked eye from Earth, appearing as a dim brown disk devoid of surface details, even in images captured by the Hubble Space Telescope. To overcome the challenges of studying Pluto, the New Horizons unmanned orbital station left on a mission to explore the dwarf planet in 2006. After a nine-and-a-half-year journey, the spacecraft reached Pluto in 2015, capturing detailed images and gathering more than six gigabytes of information during its flyby. Although the probe's trajectory prevented a comprehensive survey of Pluto's entire surface, the data transmitted to Earth provided significant insights. Presently, let's delve into Pluto's internal structure. According to the current model, at its core, Pluto boasts a large, roughly 1,700 kilometers diameter composition of various forms of water, ice, and rocks. Surrounding this core is a 300 kilometers ice mantle, possibly undergoing tectonic processes that are still not fully understood. The mantle, in turn, is covered by a crust consisting of solidified gases like nitrogen, methane, and carbon monoxide. Some theories suggest that Pluto's core generates enough heat to melt sections of the icy mantle potentially harboring a salty and toxic ocean beneath the surface. Concerning Pluto's surface temperature, it remains extremely low, not exceeding 60 K, minus 213 degrees Celsius. Our journey around Pluto begins with an exploration of its most prominent feature, Tombaugh Regio. This extensive region, resembling a heart-shaped sketch, dominates the planet's surface. Pluto's axis of rotation has a significant tilt, and the planet undergoes cyclic motions due to the gravitational influence of its large satellite, Charon. The Pluto-Charon system is tidally locked, continually facing each other with the same sides. Pluto's family of moons, including Nix and Hydra, discovered in 2005, and later discoveries like Kerberos and Styx, are much smaller and have irregular shapes. These moons, ranging from a few kilometers to not more than 16 kilometers in diameter, are primarily made of water ice and possibly got captured by Pluto's gravity from the Kuiper belt. Now, let's discuss Charon. While not all of Charon was captured by the New Horizons probe's cameras, the visible surface reveals intriguing features. Toward the south of the equator lies a vast region called Vulcan Planum, spanning at least 400,000 square kilometers, comparable to the size of an average European country. Here, the highest summit on Charon, Kubrick Mons, with a width of around 40 kilometers and an estimated height of 4,000 m, stands out. Some believe Kubrick Mons might be a cryovolcano, suggesting that the area around it may have sunk due to the weight of an underground reservoir. Moving north near the pole, we find the giant macula, with a width of 475 kilometers. Its origin is still debated, 
but a common theory suggests that nitrogen and methane from Pluto's atmosphere got trapped by Charon's gravity, settling at its poles. Later exposure to ultraviolet radiation transformed them into tholins, which gradually accumulated in the celestial body's ice. However, this hypothesis awaits verification through future missions, as Charon remains relatively mysterious to us despite being one of the most fascinating structures in the solar system. The Pluto-Charon system is understudied, with the New Horizons probe having left the area long ago and the celestial bodies themselves moving away, taking their secrets with them. The probe, currently over 50 astronomical units from Earth, occasionally transmits crucial data, but by around 2030, its systems are expected to fail, leaving it abandoned in the infinity of space. Pluto's distinctive characteristics extend beyond its physical structure and orbit. Its thin atmosphere, primarily composed of nitrogen, with traces of methane and carbon monoxide, is a significant focus of scientific interest. This atmosphere undergoes dramatic changes as Pluto orbits the Sun. When Pluto is closer to the Sun, its surface ices sublimate into gas, temporarily thickening the atmosphere. As it moves further away, the atmosphere freezes and falls back to the surface as snow. These seasonal variations are unique and offer a fascinating glimpse into the dynamic processes occurring on this distant world. Pluto's atmosphere also exhibits haze layers, observed by the New Horizons spacecraft. These layers are likely formed by complex chemical reactions triggered by sunlight breaking down methane molecules. The resulting compounds then form tiny particles that create the observed haze. This process is similar to what happens in the atmospheres of other outer solar system bodies such as Titan, Saturn's largest moon. Despite its small size, Pluto has a surprisingly varied and complex landscape. The New Horizons mission revealed mountains as high as 3,500 meters, vast plains of nitrogen ice, and networks of valleys and ridges. One of the most striking features is Sputnik Planitia, a large, heart-shaped nitrogen ice plain that appears to be geologically active. This region shows evidence of convection cells, where warmer ice rises and cooler ice sinks, creating a constantly renewing surface. This activity suggests that Pluto's interior retains some heat, possibly from radioactive decay, driving these geological processes. Another intriguing aspect of Pluto is its potential for having an underground ocean. Some models propose that a subsurface ocean of water and ammonia might exist beneath its icy crust kept liquid by heat from the planet's core and the antifreeze properties of ammonia. If such an ocean exists, it could provide a habitat for life, albeit in conditions vastly different from those on Earth. This possibility makes Pluto a subject of astrobiological interest, alongside moons like Europa and Enceladus, which also harbor subsurface oceans. Exploration of the Kuiper Belt, the region of the solar system beyond Neptune where Pluto resides, continues to be a frontier for scientific discovery. The Kuiper Belt is populated with many small, icy bodies that are remnants from the solar system's formation. Studying these objects can provide insights into the early solar system's conditions and the processes that led to the formation of planets. Pluto, as one of the largest and best-studied Kuiper Belt objects, serves as a key to understanding this distant region. In the coming decades, Missions to the outer solar system will likely return to Pluto and its neighbors, armed with advanced technology to uncover more secrets. Future probes may carry instruments capable of penetrating the ice to explore potential subsurface oceans, analyze the chemical composition of the atmosphere and surface in greater detail, and map the geology of these distant worlds with unprecedented precision. As we look forward to these future explorations, Pluto remains a symbol of human curiosity and our quest to understand the cosmos. The knowledge gained from studying Pluto not only enriches our understanding of the solar system, but also inspires us to continue exploring the unknown, pushing the boundaries of what we know about our place in the universe. In the meantime, we encourage you to stay engaged with the latest developments in space exploration. Your interest and support are crucial as we venture further into the final frontier. Thank you for being a part of this journey. Stay tuned for more exciting discoveries and insights as we continue to unravel the mysteries of Pluto and beyond.